What's up, everybody? Uh, beautiful Friday today. Man, by the way, uh, if you're watching this, you haven't sus subscribed to the channel, right below, man, just subscribe. If you like the content, say so. And uh, put some comment, man. Today's topic is very interesting, man. I've been in this technology space for six years, and I've noticed that developing technology everywhere is expensive, especially specialized technology. And especially in Africa, where the demand for uh, engineers and developers, software developers, is much higher than the supply. So, you know, um, the cost of keeping talented staff and all those things is very expensive. So I want to talk about giving you a strategy on the best way, if you're a real technology company and you want to minimize your cost, how to develop a solution with a minimum uh, uh, cost from your pocket. So today, software development, especially um, very, very advanced software development, you know, apps today is a very simple to develop. Uh, there's not a lot of um, difficulty to find app developer, but we, we deal a lot with embedded system uh, at A-Ray. We do a lot of embedded system. Right now, we're working on some very interesting technology. Um, in edge computing. I'm not going to talk too much about it because we're still in development. I might do a vlog about that, but that requires some high-end skills, man. And some of the biggest software companies I've talked to outside the continent, even them, to find some talent in that space, in the embedded system is very difficult. So it's extremely challenging, it can end up being very, very expensive. If you start up and you, you have a hard time raising money, um, and you're not sure how to, uh, you know, how, how to develop uh, your solution because you ain't got the money. What, 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 what option do you have? So uh, before I talk about option, um, I can tell you after six years, man, there's nothing I haven't tried when it comes to technology development. Uh, internship, if you have a big project that don't work too well, and I talk about it on some vlogs. Um, uh, what else? Freelancers, they're good for small projects, but not for big long-term projects. And documentation is very important when you do a big project, man. You have to document, uh, you have to make sure that, you know, there is uh, there's some type of uh, information that you can uh, provide if somebody else come and, and, and develop. You guys know that. You know? If you haven't developed a solution, you can email me, I can talk about it more in detail. But but um, the solution is key, man. You, you don't have a lot of money. You, um, you're, trying to, you're trying to develop a, a very intricate and, and, and difficult solution. The first thing you need to do is what kind of skill sets that solution will require. Because even when you develop a solution, one of the mistakes a lot of people do is you gotta maintain the solution, right? It's not just about developing and I was naive too, you know, you develop the solution and then you don't understand there's a maintenance because software breaks down just like anything else. There's a glitch, there's gaps, there's viruses, whatever you want to call it. And, and you need somebody who knows how to go and fix, fix that problem, man. And um, man, that's why I can't wait for AI to be able to do their own program. Can you imagine you have an AI solution and say, hey, go check the system, find out what the problem is. I'm, I'm pretty sure it's going to happen, man. Oof. AI is going to be very interesting for small businesses. I think, I think AI is going to be a game changer for small businesses because it'll be able to lower your cost of operation. But anyway, uh, besides all that, let me go back to what I was talking about. So what are the, 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 the key solutions? First, you need to find out what kind of skill sets you need, right? What kind of uh, expertise you need for your, uh, for, your, uh, for your problem, for your software development. Second thing is, you need to find out what companies, come up with a list of companies, not just locally, regionally, internationally, whatever the case that is, um, that may or may not have, what, what am I saying? That, that, that may, not may, but that has 
that have the, 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 the skill set you're looking for. And it doesn't have to be big companies, but they have to be a sizable company, have enough team to support you in all those things. And then you network. You also network and talk to people in that space that can refer to you to companies um, that have the skill set you're looking for and the expertise you're looking for uh, that they can refer to. And uh, the last stage is you hit them up and, and trying to straight up a, a partnership deal. And that's what I want to really talk about. What kind of partnership can you provide? There's a few kinds of partnership you can do. Uh, you can do a straight up equity deal. And based on that value of the equity, that will uh, provide the value. So let's say your valuation is at uh, 2 million, right? And then you're willing to give them 10%. That means that they're getting $200,000 worth of value. Uh, so they got to give you back $200,000 $200, worth of services. Um, but uh, that's, that's a very difficult uh, thing to do because you need to find somebody who can trust you and the company is going places and all, or you can give equity and they can provide a wholesale price of their services. Not the retail price, meaning they're just going to cover their main power. They're not, they're not going to make any profit um, on the deal because they can't get equity and, and charge you retail. So they're just making enough to cover their staff. That worked much, much better. You can even negotiate where they go lower, right? Um, meaning they... they, they since they're getting equity, they say, okay, can you, can you get, you know, everything is negotiable in, in, anyway. But the, the point is what? The point is now you have a technical partner that can do your development, your maintenance. You don't have to build that expertise in-house, which can be very expensive, especially for a startup or small companies. And, you know, you, you can save money where if you don't have any money and all, you don't have to pay. You don't have to, to continue to work. But the most important part, and people missing, when, you, when you're very innovative or you're doing something uh, uh, very advanced, they can bring some insight, some advice. They can even be, you know, since they have equity now, they're part of your company, so they have an incentive to make sure you're winning, right? And uh, it's the quickest way to build a, 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 a team in a sense where to bring this expertise in the team instead of going out there and trying to recruit and train and all those things that can take time, you know, and, 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 and take money. Much more, much more uh, capital than this particular idea. So that's what we're doing at A-Red anyway. I wanted to share that because I, I, I've seen how the technical expertise and team for tech companies is key. It's everything. And it's not just in development, it's monetization, uh, it's making sure that we're using the, 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 the language of tomorrow, or if you know hardware, hardware components that are very advanced, etc., etc., etc. Because making mistakes in technology can be and is very, very expensive. I'm going to end with this, because I always like to end with a, a, a train of thoughts. You know, startup, one of the, 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 the thing about startup is about speed. It's about speed and execution and, and bringing a product as quickly as possible to the market to test and all those things. If you have to build a whole infrastructure yourself, it can take a long time. But with this strategy, you can get on the ground much, much quicker, man. So good luck, and I hope you got incentive on this one.